Canadians rookie camp wrapped up a week of activity Wednesday at the Bell Sports Complex in Broussard. Uh, most of the players who were still here, uh, they sent five or six juniors back to their junior teams early in the week, but most of the players who survived this point were invited to the main camp, which starts on Friday. There were several players on uh, tryouts here at the rookie camp. Uh, these are guys who weren't drafted. Uh, in some cases, they're players who are looking for the first pro contract. One exception is goaltender Michael McNiven. He's going back to the Owen Sound team in the Ontario Hockey League. He talked a little bit about his development here at this camp and how he got here. The draft in, uh, in uh, June there, you know, it didn't go my way, but um, I had a few invites here and uh, Montreal was one of them. And, you know, I, I wouldn't want to pass up uh, the Montreal Canadiens, right? So I took that offer and I'm just trying to make the most of it. Since Carey Price has been here, you know, obviously uh, it's, it's one of the better goalies in the league. and. And, uh, you know, I look up to him and uh, try and learn as much as I can from him while watching him on TV and whatnot. The goalie coaches here are amazing and, and I learn a lot with them and, you know, they just want the best out of you and they just push you as hard as possible. So, I mean, there's not one thing that you can't not take from here and you, you just have to take everything and make the most of it. One of the eye-openers in the rookie tournament on the weekend in London, Ontario was defenseman Ryan Johnston. Uh, he's a guy with uh, not a lot of size. He's a small, maybe 5'10", about 175 pounds, but he has speed and a good first pass. I try to get uh, to the puck before anyone else, so size really doesn't come into a factor, obviously, if you're, if you're ahead of the play. So I try to get to the puck as fast as I can, um, and I also use, try to use that speed in, in the defensive end to try to separate pe uh, people from the puck. I think I bring a, an offensive ability, a heads-up play, first passes, um, and then a, a, using my speed not only in the defensive zone, but uh, in the offensive zone to try to create plays and uh, create space between me and my, uh, the defender. He was invited to the development camp in July and decided to forego his final year at Colgate University when the Canadians offered him a two-year contract. I was just coming in here just trying to show what I can do. And um, I, I guess I had a good camp and they liked what they saw. And uh, I mean, when they offered uh, a contract and I can't turn down uh, uh, the opportunity to play for the Montreal Canadiens. So uh, it, it was definitely unexpected, but I mean, I'm definitely not complaining whatsoever.